You know, I think she originally thought that she wanted to stay private. Um, she changed her mind, I think, in part because she thought the debate about public about social media, um, the public debate, was just kind of going off the rails a bit. I mean, we've been talking about bias and about Section 230 and sort of legal liability. And I think what she has been pushing for, and one of the things, the reason that she started talking to me in the first place, is she believes we need to spend a lot more time on the mechanics of these platforms and on the incentives that Facebook has built into them. The accusations that she talked about on 60 Minutes were... I mean, pretty damning. Is this, in your estimation, a tip of the iceberg, uh, of the iceberg for Facebook? Uh, there are a lot of people like her inside the company. Facebook's asked people like her, um, in fact, the entire civic integrity team, to sort of study the problems that Facebook might cause and figure out ways to address them. And they let them do the first half of that job. But I think folks like, uh, like Ms. Haugen, definitely concluded that they weren't allowed to do the second part, in part because Facebook was unwilling to change its business practices and the way its platform operated uh, to mitigate some of the harms. You know, it's pretty coincidental that all of a sudden this morning, everything Facebook, Insta, everything went down for six hours. Pretty unprecedented. I guess the effect was some small businesses realized how important it was, and I don't know, uh, Facebook being I'm, I'm out today was something. I don't know. I'm, I'm definitely going to call it a coincidental. While, yeah. while I am a, uh, a great believer in the power of reporting, uh, I don't think it knocks Facebook offline for six hours. <laughs> so, uh, you know, let's, let's call that one a coincidence right now. At the moment, it seems like it may very well just have been a mistake. Um, but I think that mistake is really kind of does support the idea that this is infrastructure at this point, um, that, you know, people are deeply invested um, in these platforms, in particular WhatsApp, right, which around the world is used as kind of one of the key means for people to communicate with each other, period. Uh, it's not a social network so much as just a messaging service. And so I think the even the possibility of something like this happening, because Facebook hasn't had these problems in years, is kind of a reminder of uh, how much is centralized under the company's own control and how little insight those of us outside the company have unless people inside feel like telling us about it. Jeff Horwitz, whose great reporting is at the Wall Street Journal. Jeff, thank you.